Our forecast with meteorologist Damon Singleton. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a, a mild and a muggy morning all across uh, southeast Louisiana. And if you're, <laughs> if you're headed to St. Charles Avenue, not to take anything away from Deja, but you can see the traffic back up uh, that's taking place out there. This is a look through our uh, Hyde Regency camera at the Caesars Superdome. Skies above the dome are partly cloudy as they are across southeast Louisiana. And here's a look at the visibility. We've been talking about the fog that we have in some parts of the area, mainly down here on the south shore. And as you can see, Galliano and Grand Isle, that's the lowest visibility at a half a mile in both those locations. Uh, the visibility has dropped in home another mile, so they're at three miles. The rest of the area, the visibility is at uh, 10 miles. At the airport right now, 67 degrees, some partly cloudy skies. The dew points, as I mentioned, one degree away from the actual temperature, uh, so the humidity is very high. The winds are blowing out of the southwest at nine miles per hour, so the faster the winds are blowing, the less of an issue you're going to have with visibility, even though you're, you're probably going to see some of that mist that, uh, that, de that develops with this type of um, situation, this type of weather. Out of the West Northwest is seven miles per hour from Bogalusa, where the, where the skies are also partly cloudy. That high pressure ridge that uh, we were talking about yesterday has kind of slid a little bit further to the southeast, but it's still in place across the southeastern part of the country, keeping all the rainfall uh, at bay uh, for the most part. It's bringing us this uh, the southwesterly winds that we have this morning. All of us across the southeast the United States are in the 60s and the 70s this morning, and just to the north of us, uh, in like in the Tennessee Valley, the temperatures are in the 30s and the 40s. Uh, the high pressure is also bringing lots of dry air out here in the Gulf of Mexico, which is also uh, kind of buttoned up against uh, some of the moisture that is traveling over that high pressure ridge, and that's going to continue today and for the next couple of days. So the radar picture is clear right now, and while I'm expecting the shower or two as we go through the day today, I, you know, I, I don't think we're going to see much uh, at all. You know, if you were out last night, you probably noticed some of that heavy mist that developed and kind of collected on everything. That's the type of thing that's possible once again today. Uh, but otherwise, I'm not expecting a, a much in terms of rainfall. And the model's not picking up on a lot of potential. Every now and then, you'll see little green splotches. And that's the, that's the, the rainfall that I'm talking about. It's a possibility for today. Not more than that. Wednesday is looking like a great day as well with some partly cloudy skies. Thursday is looking like a great day. I think Friday through the weekend, the conditions are pretty nice. Temperatures outside anywhere from 7 to 19 degrees higher than they were at this time yesterday. This afternoon will be in the upper 70s, low 80s. Uh, some similar numbers for Wednesday and Thursday. Similar numbers for Friday and Saturday. Keep in mind that the normal high this day, this time of year, Deja, is 68 degrees. Well, we are coming in hot, Damon. <laughs>